Good evening, Wendy, Nelson, Diego, Jorge. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. How's it going? I'm working, teacher. Um, You're working? Really? It's so late at night? I, I am... Um, did I am no eating. <laughs> hmm. You're you're beating betting. Eating. Oh, you're eating, <laughs> eating, having dinner. Okay, yes, you're, you're having I, dinner. Having, having my dinner. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, don't forget, at the beginning of the class, you can say hello to a classmate, you know, Practice your greetings while we wait for the others to connect. So... Let me see who who wants to talk. Who's ready to start speaking? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, partner. Okay, who's ready to start talking, guys? <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say something and, I don't know, talk about any topic so we can start the class as usual, having a normal conversation. What did you do today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, I I just want to say you that I'm I'm driving to my house right now. Okay, okay, <laughs> Christian. Be careful, please. Yeah. Thank you. I I have on my camera, but but I'm driving. Okay, repeat. I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to tell you. I just wanted to. I just wanted <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> there you go. I just wanted to tell you. Yeah. Yes. Or it sounds better if you say, "I just wanted to let you know." I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted I to just, let you know. I just wanted to let you know. Almost. I just wanted to let you know. I just wanted to let you know. Close, close. Review the video. Yeah, that that's that's okay. Just be careful, please. You're driving. I don't want you to have an accident. That will, okay, that will... thank you. Thank you. What about the rest? What about the others? Hello. Hello, good evening, everyone.
Hello. <laughs> Okay, it looks like you don't want to speak. Um, I hope you don't do what this man did. Okay, I'm just waiting for the others while we wait. I'm going to send you something funny. And then I want to hear your comments about this. So on your WhatsApp, there's a funny video. If you want, check it out while we wait for the others. Okay, go ahead, check the video, just watch it. I'm just waiting for the rest to join. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Jorge. Good evening. We're, we're just watching a little video. It's one minute or so. What is the link? It's on the What's WhatsApp. Up? Okay, thank you. I'm watching. Let me know whenever you're finished watching it. Hi, good evening. Hey, Carlos. Okay. I think, I, I don't know if you're ready. Uh, Jorge, I think you're still watching it, right? <laughs> Actually, the video is it's over. It's over. Okay. What do you think about the video? Uh, I'm not sure if it's Funny. <laughs> okay. Could but... be disturbing. Yes, it could be disturbing for, for the wife. Yes. The, I the mean, but if you are a funny guy all your life, you know it. <laughs> Maybe if you are a relative, could be yeah. funny. But if you are the the son of the of the old man. I I consider it's not funny. <laughs> it may not be funny, yeah. It could be disturbing. I like you found the right way, the right word. That, that that's good, Jorge. Great job. Okay. Manuel, what do you think? Yes, uh, uh, in my point of view. It's, it's not funny <laughs> because it's a funeral. But it's a few funeral, uh huh. Funeral, but I I hear in the box <laughs> in the funeral box 
someone was uh, loud, cry out, and and was uh, singing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In the coffin. The coffin. <laughs> They say coffin and let out. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's just a prank. A last they, minute they, prank that he left for the family. Go ahead, Jorge. The weird thing is people just laugh. But I imagine here in El Salvador, some someone could be jumped to the could jump inside the coffin. Yeah, inside, inside the, the hole. Coffin. Yes. Inside the hole. That it's happened. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, that could happen, definitely. Nelson was chewed up. Um, okay. Nelson, what do you think about the video? Yeah, I found it kind of funny because uh, it shows how how was the 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 humor or the 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 way that the that the man acts in life. Uh, so it's like a last uh, memory to always remember her him like the way he was all his life. And I think it, it was a, a great last joke. Yeah, that, that's a great last uh, prank, you know, for the family. It's just that how do you want to be remembered? How do you want them to be to remind you? I love. I I will try to find a, a motivational video that I saw a few months ago, and it talked about this. You know what? Uh, on August eight, somebody I loved with all my heart passed away. My my cousin passed away. She had cancer, but. She survived cancer. She sur survived the cancer. But the last surgery, I mean, we, we told her, right? Don't do not do the surgery. Just wait to recover for, from all the, the chemios because she did the eight chemios and she made it. No more cancer. It was over. But they had to do a little surgery because on her gross intestine, there was something bad. So they had to cut it, simple surgery. But, and pay attention to this, this is very important. Es tan importante que se lo puede decir en español rápido. Si alguna vez algún familiar o algunos de ustedes les operan el intestino grueso, mi hermano lo operaron ayer, y necesitan una cirugía de intestino grueso, que les dejen dreno. Tienen que dejar dreno. No pueden de hacer la cirugía sin dejar dreno. So, the point is, going back to English, they did the surgery and they didn't, leave the dreno, you know, so there was something called sepsis, you know, and she she got an infection inside and she started fighting and fighting and fighting for three days and she didn't make it, unfortunately. Una cosa más, todos tenemos candida en nuestro cuerpo, señores, y si tus defensas se bajan al más mínimo nivel, como le ocurrió a ella, a ti te puede atacar la candida y se acabó. Es un hongo que vive en nosotros, o Think about it, Google it, do a research, become healthy, eat healthy. That's very important. So going back to the point, I watched this video after her, her passing. I watched this motivational video and he said, what happens when you die? People, your family will remember you, you know, for a month to three months. Mm -hmm. The rest of the life. And the rest of the life, they will just remember you. But they will not cry anymore. You know, everything passes. All the, the pain passes and it goes away. And your friends, the people who knew you, will forget you. That's the way it is. Now, I was amused. I was amused in shock on her funeral because it was crowded. There was a lot of people. They even, she loved, she loved dogs. You know, she had two dogs, two labradores. And 
and there was a, a place where they rescue dogs. So I loved it. They sent her um, a flower arrangement in the form of a poodle, you know? So, man, it was an amazing funeral, an amazing service at church. Of course, we cried. I mean, it was devastating, especially for her two little daughters. She left two little daughters and 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 her son, who is 18 years old, and they were left with the widow men, with the widow men. I mean, can you imagine you, oh my God, it was terrible. That was the worst part of everything. But they're learning to live without her is not easy. It's not easy because she was, she was the light of the family, I will say, you know, she was always happy and everything. So we want to remember those who live that way, be remembered. Make sure you live your life to be remembered. That's very important. Make sure you live your life to be remembered. And that was the message that I wanted to transmit to you. I mean, you ho I hope you, nobody remind, remembers you like a grumpy person, somebody complaining all the time, negative, you know. No, no, no. Try to change your life. You're still on time. Did you watch the video from Jordi? Jordi's video? It's never, never late. It's never late. 80 years and at the age of 90, and I have two more diplomas, two more degrees. Oh, my God. Right. That was really good again. Okay. I talked too much already. I'm, I have to do the attendance, and then we move on to the homework that we're doing. We're going to do it differently, a little bit differently today. Okay. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Excellent. Claudia Maria Melende Santos. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martinez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diego Armando Lopez Rivas. Here, teacher. Thank you for turning on your camera, Diego. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present teacher. Excellent. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Yeah. Maria Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Hmm. Not here yet. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario no, José. Oh, where's Mario? Mario. Oh, Mario Villeda. Thank you. Yeah. All right, there you go. Okay, Mario Jose Valle Castaneda. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Norma Carolina Villeda Avalos. Present teacher. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so what are we going to do differently today? Let's talk about some grammar, shall we? First thing we're going to do is practice, review a grammar topic. So what do you want to discuss, everybody? Simple present, third person, or simple past? Simple past. Simple past? Jorge says simple past. Do we all agree? You know what? Go to the chat. Go to the chat. Quick, 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 quick. Say past or present. Just say past or present on the chat. Present perfect. <laughs> no, just let's start with simple things. Present or past. So Carlos says past. Past, Jorge, okay, I have two. We okay. are 13 right now. Yeah, Manuel? It's okay in present or past, but I, uh, could you prepare? Uh, to totally. Yes. For tomorrow, present perfect. Okay, and no, and, 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 and in, other, in other time? In another in session? A, in another yes, in another tomorrow. session. Tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, we can do that. The, 
the numbers. Different numbers. Types numbers. Good point. Okay, I'll take note right now. So Amount numbers. And cardinals, ordinals. Oh, okay. Okay, that's Thank easy. That's easy. You. Good, good. Pass, 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 pass. Okay, so we're going with past. So what do we need to um, understand? First, there are two types of verbs, two verb kinds. Okay, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Correct me if I'm wrong in something, please. Irregular, irregular. Oh, this lecture, you got it. Irregular, yeah. Irregular verbs. There's no double R in English. You said no. Double. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't remember a word with double R in English. It's irregular. <laughs> I'm not sure. But... Yeah, it's double R. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't I'm not trusting my instincts for some reason. So regular irregular verbs. Okay. Now regular verbs, as we saw on the short video I send you on WhatsApp, we just add ED at the end of regular verbs. So help me. Everybody, give me a verb, a regular verb. Give me a regular verb. Jump. Jump. Run. Okay. So I just add ED. Okay. Run, guys, is run a regular verb? Run, 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 no. Oh. No, it's irregular. Good oh. point. Oh, okay, regular. So, so as, a, as an example, okay. we just added E to jump to an irregular verb, it changes totally. It becomes something else, okay? Good, moving on, next. Play. Oh. I knew it. Play, played. Walk. Walk, excellent. Walk. Then you can say walked. Walked. Uh huh. Cook. Cook. Cook? Yeah. Cook. You can say cooked. Take. Sorry, Jorge? Save. Fail. No, save. Oh, save. Thank you. Save. We just add the D and it sounds like saved. Saved. As we saw before. So I think we all have this point, right? <clears throat> Regulars, irregulars. Super rápido. En el listado de verbos que dice que empieza con verbos irregulares, el listado más grande que les envié. Espero que hayan notado que en la última columna, me parece, aparece la pronunciación representada como Así, así, right? Y también, id, 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 acted, yep, added, added, etc. So, keep mind that, mind that, keep that, keep that in mind, okay? Eso les va a ayudar en los regular verbs. Now, for irregular verbs, they totally change, and there is no magic pill or there is no uh, there is no recommendation that no teacher could give you to rem to memorize irregular verbs so going to the grammar what do i need to perform a positive or an affirmative sentence i need the subject auxiliary wait not yet for a positive sentence, and I'm, I'm going to actually write it. Espero que hayan entendido que yo represento el positivo así, o la afirmación así. So, affirmative. Okay, let's go with an affirmative sentence. I need the subject plus the verb in past. Okay. And the complement. That's it. Just three particles, three parts. Okay, so give me a sentence. I I saw the play last last Monday. <laughs> Good job. Okay, last Monday. That's another topic. Time expressions. 
time expressions. Last Monday, last Friday, last week, last year. In the morning, you could say, I saw the play in the morning, this morning. We're talking about today. So things that happened. El pasado ya pasó. Okay. Keep that in mind. So things that just are already happened. Okay. So I saw the play last Monday. I have a subject, a verb in past, and the complement. That's it. For a negative. Oh, I mean, do you have any questions? Questions? So far, so good. Yes. Wait, Susana, so far, so good. Do you have any questions? I know, don't teach you. No? Okay. No. Samuel did the homework. This is a positive sentence. What is the verb? Did. Did. Do, right? Do, did, done. Do, did, done. You got it. So, did. Una clave que sí les puedo dar es aprenderse el pasado y el pasado participio de los verbos al unísono, al estudiar el pasado, okay? So, Samuel did the homework. Now, let's use these two examples for negative and questions. Oh, my God, I just clicked elsewhere. Le di click afuera. It's okay. So, let's talk about negative. I'm going to send you this before I erase it. Okay, so that's the past in affirmations. Let's go with um, negative. Let's make a negative sentence. What do I need? Again, I need uh -huh, subject. subject and then? The auxiliary. The auxiliary. The auxiliary, which is only one. There is no do does anymore now i need didn't Did. okay didn't you could say didn't you could say did not yeah. and then the verb now yeah. mind this base yeah. form complement and the complement that's all that's all i need okay so, following the same examples, can you make, I saw the play last Monday, negative? I didn't see the play last Monday. You got it, Carlos. Good job. I didn't see the play last Monday. Okay. What about the second sentence? In question. No, negative, negative. And I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I, I didn't write it here. Yes. Negative structure, okay. I didn't see the play last Monday. Samuel did the homework. What would be the negative of that sentence? Samuel did the homework. Samuel didn't. Didn't. The homework. Didn't the homework? Yes. Guys? yes Samuel didn't do the homework. The exactly. Didn't do the y eso didn't. te va a ocurrir si tú seguís la dieta que les he dicho de palabra y verbo, verbo y palabra, perdón, vas a notar que tu cerebro te va a forzar a hacer esto, se te va a olvidar el verbo en el negativo, porque tu cerebro se va a enfocar en esto. No se, te va, no se te va a olvidar el auxiliar, no se te va a olvidar el auxiliar, ok, no se me olvidó el auxiliar, pero se me olvidó el verbo, eso es lo más común, mm. ok, so mind that, keep that in mind. Samuel didn't do the homework, and that's it. You have a negative sentence. So you can okay. use also doesn't. No. It doesn't. No. Work. No. No. We are not in present anymore. It's in past. It's simple past. So there's just the one okay. auxiliary. Did. Did not. And that's it. No modification of the verbs in <laughs> simple present. You know, no, that doesn't apply anymore. Samuel didn't do, didn't does, uh -uh, didn't do the homework. Okay. Questions? 
So far, so good. They didn't come to the class today. Excellent. They didn't come to the class today. They didn't join the class. They didn't show up. Just don't forget. No se les olvide. Esto tiene que estar. El verbo tiene que estar en su forma um, base. Ok. Cuando el, y esto te lo puedes memorizar. Eso te lo puedes memorizar. Cuando el auxiliar está presente, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Cuando el auxiliar está presente, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Let's look at the question so you can understand that. Okay, let's go with the interrogative. The interrogative structure. Okay, so uh, Nelson, can you help me with the structure? Okay. Uh, did. Mm -hmm. Los, the verb. Oh. Oh, the subject. <laughs> okay, yeah, the subject. Los, the verb. How? Uh, in the in the the base form the base Thanks. base form mm -hmm. the base form and then plus complement that's it don't forget in english there's just one question mark at the end so don't forget the question mark so did subject the verb in its base form and then the complement okay same examples nelson go with the first example i saw the play last monday I didn't see the play last Monday. Did I see the plane last Monday? Did I see the play last Monday? Sorry. Did I see the play last Monday? Okay. What would be the second sentence? Wendy, Samuel didn't do the homework. Samuel did the homework. How do you make the question? Um, I didn't do the homework. Uh, didn't... Okay. Did... Uh-huh. Follow, follow the example. Did... Did Samuel... Mm -hmm. Did Samuel do... No. See? Yep, yep. Do, do the homework. You got no, it. That's the homework. You got... No, no, no. No, does. no, no. no. Do, do for a did. Okay. Right. Did Samuel do the homework? Did Samuel do the homework? You got it. Now, how do I reply to these questions? I have to say, yes, I did. Yes, I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Okay, plus did. And this is an affirmation. No, okay, subject plus didn't teacher how come how come teacher okay let's say did i see the play last monday yes i, I, did. I did no i didn't no someone didn't now uh oh sorry uh no, I didn't. So only two options. Now, did Samuel do the homework? Yes, Samuel did. Um, no, Samuel didn't. No suena redundante. Yes, he did. Yes, he uh -huh. did. Uh -huh. okay. That's why you have the pronouns. Por eso se llaman pronouns. Subject pronouns. Uh -huh. Para no sonar redundante. Uh -huh. No. Oh. Right. No, he didn't. And there you have, so you have negative now. Did Samuel do the homework? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Teacher, do I have to contract on negatives or positives? Los americanos, cuando quieren hacer énfasis en algo, en una negativa, 
no contractúan. Quiero que quede claro eso. Look at the difference. Did I see the play last Monday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I did not. No, I did not. Like that. Be careful with that. If you don't contract, it sounds like you are putting emphasis. You know, it's, you're saying no, it strong. You strong. don't. You do not. No, you did not. Right now, yes, did not. Did, did not. Remember this. Questions? 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 Uh, what about the, the capital letter, teacher? Where? Uh, yes, he did, or no, he didn't. I like to use capitals, you know, and it is, it is proper. It's proper to use capitals on, on the subjects. But, but it's not a problem. I don't see a problem in that. No, that's OK. OK. Especially I, right? I, yeah. Uh-huh. OK. So tonight, we're just staying with simple past. I'm going to split you for 15 minutes. Push your classmates. Okay, push your classmates. Susana, how do you say nadar in English? Yeah, swim. 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 Good job. Hmm. How do you say tres kilometros in English? Um, three. Kilometers. 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 Okay. In miles? In millas? Uh, in millas? Uh, in three in miles. <laughs> uh huh. Eso sería 1.5 miles. Más o menos. Okay. So, Susana, how do you use it? Give me simple past, positive, negative question. Swim, three miles, three, I'm sorry, three kilometers. And present, I, yep. Yep. I swing, I'm past. Past. I, I swam, I swam um, in the pool yesterday. One more time, I swam. Uh, I, I swam three, three. Kilometers. 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 Uh, yesterday. You got it. I swam three kilometers yesterday. Negative. Uh, I didn't. I didn't uh, swing three three kilometers yesterday. Question. Um. Did did I? I, I swam, I swing, I <laughs> swing. Did I swim? <laughs> tres, tres kilometers. Three uh, kilometers. Three kilometers. Three kilometers yesterday. yesterday. Right? Did I swim three kilometers yesterday? One more thing. Super rápido. Esa es una regla general. Toda regla gramatical. En las oraciones positivas, voy a alzar mi voz. Es decir, la fuerza de voz va a estar en los verbos. I swam three kilometers yesterday. En las negativas va a estar en el negativo. Ojo, todas las reglas gramaticales, los tiempos gramaticales, en las negativas va a estar en el negativo. I didn't swim three kilometers yesterday. I didn't swim three kilometers yesterday. Y en las preguntas voy a alzar mi voz en la última palabra que mencione antes del question mark, antes del signo de interrogación. Did I swim three kilometers yesterday? So one more time. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. I, swam, I swam three kilometers yesterday. I didn't swim three kilometers yesterday. Did I swim three kilometers yesterday? Yesterday? Got it? Okay. Esa es una regla general de pronunciación. Okay, so let's go. 
challenge your classmates. Y por favor, a los que tienen las cámaras apagadas, la mayoría, eh, sí, por favor, encender la cámara. Acuérdense que estamos en una clase y hay que participar todos. So, let's go. You have 15 minutes to push your classmates. One, two, three, simple pass. Let's go. Juan Carlos, Mario, please accept the invitation. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Okay, I, I was in, in the class yesterday, so I don't I don't know how to you are working with this exercise. Te lo voy a explicar super rápido porque es bien fácil y en español oh. suena más fácil. Okay, so es como yo le pregunto a alguien primero hasta dos le hago estas dos preguntas primero. Mm -hmm. How do you say cocinar in English? La persona me contesta mm -hmm. cook. How do you say huevos in English? X, ok, mm -hmm. y luego le digo simple past tiene que darme positivo, negativo y pregunta that's it, ya me contestó okay. ahora esa pregunta, que, esa persona que contestó va a elegir a alguien más y por ejemplo, digamos que tú le preguntaste a Norma Norma le preguntaría a Silvia, la misma rutina Silvia le preguntaría a Mario y así, ¿no? Okay. ¿cuántas veces se puede en 15 minutos, ok? ok, that's Thanks. it, different verbs ok um... Norma. <laughs> Hello. How do you say uh, saltar in English? Jump. Okay. And now, how do you say uh, cuerda? Roll. Okay. Can you give me some examples with those words, please? Just with the I was jumping in with the rope. Okay, ahí empezamos a aplicar la estructura que acabamos de ver. Yesterday I jumped the rope. Okay. Yesterday I jumped the rope. Y ahí podemos ocupar los ejemplos que les envié el WhatsApp, la estructura, ¿no? Negative and question, Mario. Go ahead. Yesterday I done yesterday I wasn't jump, jump with the rope. Look at the examples on WhatsApp. Yesterday, I didn't yeah. jump yeah. the rope. Uh, let me check. Uh, didn't. Did not. Didn't. I know. Sorry. Yes. Okay. No problem. Okay, Is Susana. It... Okay. Order. How do you say... Uh, walk. 
no, wow. no, <ríe> caminar. <ríe> Me lo dijo. <ríe> ok, start with the, with the sentence in simple past. Walk. Eh, I walk. I walk it. I walk it. Yeah. Um, in my office yesterday. In your office. In my office. Uh -huh. Inside your office. Or yes. Your office. My office. <laughs> Okay, the, the, the other one is uh, negative. Negative. Um, I didn't work in, in my office yesterday. Okay, and the next one is question. Question. Uh, did, did I... A walk in my office yesterday. Okay. Okay. Or the. Uh, how do you say? Uh, ganar in in English. Okay. Ganar win. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Ah. Uh, Okay, the simple simple pass. I won the lot the lottery the last year. Okay. I won, and the the negative. I didn't won the lottery the last year. And the next one is the the question. Did I? Uh, win the lottery the last year. Okay. Now, how do you say uh, abrir in English? Abrir, uh, open. Yes. In uh -huh. I open it um, the the camp. And yesterday. Cam, what is the meaning of cam? Cam. ¿Que no es lata? How do you say lata? <laughs> cam, then. Uh -huh. mm. Lata. I don't remember. Sí. Is correct, teacher, can? Yes, can. 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 C A N. C A N. Yes, can. Can. Not anymore. Can as as a model as a verb is can, right? Mm -hmm. But as a noun is can. Can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Continue. Negative is I I didn't uh, open. Uh, the can't yesterday and questioned uh, did did uh, I open the can yesterday okay okay what do you say in English um, how do you say the how the do you say and, and then the in English. Excuse me? How do you say? How do you say? Oh. And, and you put the, the verb and then in English. Just for follow the structure that the, the teacher said. Okay. And... Yeah. Um, Responder. Um, answer or respond? No, answer. 
answer. Answer. Okay. Uh, the the sim simple pass. I I answer it. Answer it. Answer it, teacher is correct. Answer it. Answer. Answer. I answer the platform completely. Sounds correct. I answered the, the platform. question. The platform completely. Oh, yes, completely. I answered the platform completely. Okay. The negative. I didn't answer the platform completely. And the question. Uh, did I answer? the platform completely okay now how do you say uh, dormir uh, sleep yes uh, the the dog is sleepy no it's sleep it's sleep see that Pasado de sleep, sleep. 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 That's correct, teacher. Sleep. Sleep. Sí, sleep. 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 Uh, the dog slept and in the bed uh, yesterday. Okay. Uh, the negative. El negative. Uh, the dog. The complement. And simple past. In for deep. Yes. Forget an exam. Exam. Ah, but forget is you say olvidar or perdonar. No. Eh, forgive. Is is olvidar. Perdonar. Ah, perdonar. Eh, mm, I am. Eh, I for I forgave my my I forgave my my, <laughs> my partner because yeah. okay okay uh, she didn't give me the answer for the exam okay <laughs> you put it so difficult so large imagine you are a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the the other was negative. The, the negative. I didn't for I I didn't forgive my partner uh, because she didn't give me the answer for the exam. In question. Uh, did I forgive my partner? Uh, did I forgive my partner because she didn't give me the answer for the exam? I don't okay. know. <laughs> you got it. The compliment is a is a large compliment, but you got it. It's okay. Okay. Um, please turn the question for the sentence for Wendy. Um. Give him. Give her. How do you say? How do you say, let's see, how do you say salir in English? Well. Okay, and how do you say uh, fiesta in English? Party. Okay, give us a sentence in past. 
um, went went out in past? No. Yes, in past. Went out. I went out the party. <laughs> Uh, maybe you uh, have to use party. two. At, at last, at last night? No. ¿Cómo se dice la noche pasada o algo? Uh, can you repeat, please? I went out. I went out. I went went out. Um, de, ay, no sé cómo decir de fiesta. Como nunca salgo ni siquiera sé cómo decir. Go a when out o oh, no o oh, party. I went out to a party maybe. To a party. I think so. To a party. Okay. I went out. I went out to the party oh, yesterday. Only yesterday. On Friday. Saturday, Saturday night, remember. Last. ¿Cómo se dice? Como past. Ay, no sé. ¿Cómo se dice? What? El miércoles pasado, el viernes pasado. ¿Cómo se dice pasado? Last. The last, the last, the last uh, ah, okay. Wednesday. I went out the, to the party last last Friday. I went out. Okay. I okay. went out to the party last. In negative form. Last last Friday. Friday. Sorry. I did. I didn't, I didn't go out to the party, to the party uh, last Friday. Okay. Can you repeat, please? I didn't go out to the party last Friday. Okay. In, in a quest, in question? The question is, did, did I... Did I go out go out to the party last Friday? Okay. Good. Great job, Wendy. Thank you. Equal you. You you had to choose the verb and the other word. Wendy. Okay. Uh, easy, no difficult. Uh, how do you say pain? <laughs> ya dije, siempre digo al revés. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how do you say pintar in English? Okay. Paint? <laughs> Paint. Okay. And how do you say cuadro in English? Um, o pintura. I paint, I painted two pictures in the classroom. Two or the? Two, two, the dos. I painted two pictures in the classroom. The next uh, sentence in negative, I didn't paint two pictures in the 
classroom. And the next sentence in question is, did I, did I paint, paint two pictures in the classroom? Read the question, please. Uh, did I paint two pictures paint, in the okay. classroom? Good job. Thank you. The, the last sentence for Carlos, because we have Whew. Man, that was a lot of work, right? Congratulations. I think you got it. Do you still have any questions with simple past? Clearly. It's clear? It's clear, yes. It's clear, okay. Hmm. Clear like a Salguate Lake. Okay, yes. let's let's do one more thing. Uh just to make sure we we will we'll have it we'll got it okay um so let's see we're going to create a story together so be careful pay close attention to the speaker because you will follow the story Vamos a crear una historia, yo voy a empezar y el que diga el nombre tiene que continuar la historia. Tiene que tener sentido eso, okay? So, this is called coherence. Coherence. Okay, coherencia of speech. Coherence of speech. So, let's see. Um, so, my name is Peter. My name is Peter. Last weekend, I went to the beach. Last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. Norma. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, Norma. Just going to... Share with the screen and share the story as we build it. Okay. So let's do it differently. You can only participate once. Solo puedes participar una vez, okay? Decir tu oración. So, lo voy a dejar abierto para que el que quiera continuar la, hora, la um, historia lo haga, okay? So, my name is Peter. Last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. I write two hours. Wait, wait, wait. I wrote, I what? I drive two hours. I, I drove. drove. I drove, sorry. Yeah, two hours. Okay. Why? Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Because the traffic was heavy. Excellent. Because 
the traffic was heavy. Okay. Um, but Someone else? Meantime, but in the meantime, Peter told me a story about a, a shark that he saw in the, the beach. Okay, but meanwhile, who? Peter. Another John. Peter, another Peter. Uh, let's John. change. John. 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 Okay, John. John told me. Told me a, sto a story about a shark that he saw in the in the beach. Okay. When? Uh, uh, in the morning. Mm, okay. So John was with me and he had been on, well, actually, no, he was at the beach. Okay. In the morning, continue. Who? Someone else. Acuérdense que solo una vez puede hablar. So we have three, four, three speakers already. Uh-huh. I need the rest. The children was happy in the car. Okay. The children. Oh, children were they, right? Happy on the car or in the car. Yeah, in the car, inside the car. Okay, continue. But when they hear the story, they were scared. When they heard the story, they were scared or they got they got scared they got scared. okay but, but but i didn't care about it because it was a sunny day mm, nevertheless i didn't care about it because because it was a sunny day and I took and I took a sun bath. And I took a sun. Mm. Bath. Are you saying du dusk? No, bath with B. Could, could you spell B -A -S -H. it? A S H Bath. No, B, no, B E, no, B A T H. Oh, bath, a bath. sun bath, a sun bath. Uh -huh. This, ojo todos, cuando una palabra termina en TH, tiene que sonar a Z esa TH, okay? A sun bath, a sun bath. Okay, I, and I took a, a sun bath. Who hasn't talked? ¿Quién no ha hablado? Who hasn't talked? Me. Nelson, okay. On the way, uh, my car got a flat tire on the way there i got a we got a flat tire a flat tire uh-huh so i decided to arrive to one gas station so i decided to stop a stop in a gas station at a, at a gas at station a gas station at a gas station at a gas station at a gas station good i'm gonna okay. read this i'm gonna read this later okay who's next there there was a man that helped me to change the flat tire change flat tire okay That's something else. Thank God. I gave five dollars to for to repair. There was a and I gave him a five for the repair. Okay. Norma, have Damn. you talked? Chrissy? Okay. 
and remember, them. You and can it... only talk once, remember, right? Christia, okay? Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, let, let's, lo que no han hablado, come on, guys. Finish the story, finish the story. Come on. Okay, somebody, whoever, finish the story. Finally, we are uh, arrived to, to our destination. To our hotel. Okay, to our hotel. And we join all the week. We enjoyed. Enjoy the whole weekend. Weekend. Good job. The whole weekend. Okay. That's it. Okay. So, great job, guys. I have no corrections on this. I think we did it right. Let me send it to your WhatsApp. Where are you? Here you are. Now I want to spotlight myself. Can you see my face? Me pueden ver? Solo a mí me ven? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Sorry. Ah. My name is Peter. Last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. I drove two hours because the traffic was heavy. But meanwhile, John told me a story about a shark he saw in the beach in the morning. The children were happy in the car, but when they heard the story, they got scared. Nevertheless, I didn't care about it because it was a sunny day and I took a sun bath. On the way there, we got a flat tire, so I decided to stop at a gas station. Thank God. There was a man who helped me changing the flat tire, and I gave him a five for the repair. Finally, we arrived to our hotel, and we enjoyed the whole weekend. One more time. My name is Peter. Last weekend, I went to the beach with my family. I drove two hours because the traffic was heavy, but meanwhile, John told me a story about a shark he saw in the beach in the morning. The children were happy in the car, but when they heard the story, they got scared. Nevertheless, I didn't care about it because it was a sunny day and I took a sun bath. On the way there, we got a flat tire, so I decided to stop at a gas station. Thank God there was a man who helped me changing the flat tire, and I gave him a five for the repair. Finally, we arrived to our hotel and we enjoyed the whole weekend. Okay, so there you have slow motion and, and normal pace. Ahí tienen cámara lenta y el ritmo normal. Lo importante no es correr, hablar rápido. Eso no es importante. Lo importante es articular apropiadamente on this exercise. It's okay. Whew, did you like that? It was good, right? That's coherence. And, and it works very well when we are in group. You know, we can tie things, put things together, which is the whole point. Okay. Questions? No? No? no. Yeah, it was a great job, Manuel. We did great. We did great. Awesome. Things to work. Things to work. Was where? Was where? Just be careful, singular or plural. Um, and the verbs in past. 
That that's all. That's all. I like the fact that we used positives and negatives. That was good. Okay. Let's move on with the class tonight. We have to continue with designing a list of trainings related to different jobs. As we saw yesterday, um, yesterday you made an exposition about different topics. So, regarding your exposition yesterday, what I would like you to do based on your job from yesterday, you need to determine, um, to design um, the, the schedule, you know, how can you plan one of these trainings? How many people are going to attend the training? What will be the benefits? This is future. What will be the benefits of delivering the training or in fact, as a matter of fact, let's do something since we are practicing simple past, let's pretend that your training is over. What were the results? Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Number one, uh, explain briefly What was the training about and its purpose? That's number one. Number two, deliver the results, sorry, results to the main session. So in other words, I will bring you back and you need to tell the results of your training to the whole class, you know, like, okay, uh, so we, our training was about what to do during an earthquake, okay? And the purpose was to keep our employees safe during an earthquake. We identified which areas of the company are safe Okay, which areas of the company are saved? And we explain them what to do and everything. So the results were, we understood that all employees are very happy to know what to do, where to go, okay? And what to do after the earthquake, okay? During and after the earthquake, what they have to do. So they were very happy of receiving the, the training. They are more competent, okay? And that was the result, basically. Um, let me see what else could we say. Oh, the training was delivered. Listen to this, please listen to this. The training was delivered on one-on-one -on -one sessions. The training was delivered on a group session. It was delivered first to the production area and then to the administration. Oh, and then to the sales force. So we did three trainings, three different days, and it, each training lasted about an hour. This is an example. You got it? Okay. Let me see. Um... That's it. That's all we have to do. Explain what is it about, what was the purpose, and what happened. What were the results of the training to the whole class? You got it? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? Uh, teacher, it is about the the exercise that we do yesterday. We did you, yesterday. you did yesterday. That's right. Si es posible. Si no, hagan algo nuevo y piensen en los resultados, qué es el efecto que ha causado esto. Muy importante, um, training methodology used. Okay, as we saw before, before we, we started the different training methods, remember? 
It was just, uh, you made a short explanation of what, what, what it was, employee training methods. So we use the, can you use shadowing on this example on earthquake, you know, on, on safety measurements? <laughs> I don't believe. I don't think so, right? Sería como ir corriendo a través de toda la compañía. Okay, van a hacer lo que yo hago. Métase aquí, luego acá. Right? It's like, what? No. <laughs> that, that's shadowing. No, that wouldn't work. A simulation? Can you do a simulation on an earthquake and training? Yes. You can do it. And call centers do it. I have been on three uh, simulations and three earthquake simulations on my whole call center history. And, and the, the, the craziest, the craziest one, we were on the eighth floor. We were on the eighth floor of a building and they ran the bell. They ran the bell, ring, earthquake, earthquake, stop the calls. Okay, let's go out. Like that. And we went down the stairs, eight floors, and there was a someone, there was a disabled lady. There was someone with a disability. Can you imagine that? It was crazy. So, okay, uh, role playing, no hands on. So what training methodology did you use on your training? Okay, and what were the results? That's very important because tonight's topic is to design a list of trainings related to different jobs. So depending on your job, is the training that you will receive, okay? And that's it. What kind of uh, trainings you can deliver? What are the results of these trainings? And again, the importance of training the, the workforce. Any questions? No more questions. Okay, so I'm gonna split you right now. You will be in groups of four or five. Please collaborate with your classmates. It's just three questions, okay? Okay. Good, okay. you have 18 minutes, let's go. Um, but is a, a what is a method training methodology? What uh, maybe talking? Uh, I don't know. Is a is a yesterday I I talking I talking the. Uh, the training, but it's a um, in, in case the emerging for the uh, is terremoto. Hey, hey, algo así. Espérenme, quiero ver que dijo el teacher que era terremoto. Eiger. Algo así. 
Earthquake. Earthquake. Okay. Here. Uh -huh. Earthquake. Uh -huh. Thank you. Earthquake. Oh, I don't know. Other, other topic. Okay. Maybe. Libia, Norma. Oh. Well, but it's a Diego, Mario, is a listen, listener. I don't know. Um. Just eh, eh, they do in sometimes. Eh, how do you say mm, an evacuation? Mm -hmm. Like uh, like if uh, uh, where uh, an an earthquake. Okay. Right. But but. Uh... Come back to the to the topic that the teacher say. Which of the methods do you consider? Yes, uh, yes. But, uh, yes. Apply? yes. Uh, for example, in in this uh, in my experience, I that I I I really had uh, one person was uh, working on on winter, right? Mm -hmm. And he had in the top of the, on the view, I don't know, how, how do you say, uh, but uh, he, he, he doesn't have the, the equipment. The right equipment. The, the right equipment, or doesn't have any equipment because but he she, was, he was she, choked. Uh, how do you say? Recibió un, una descarga eléctrica, right? Uh -huh. Yes. And the main part is this. Uh, we have to 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 evacuate or uh, or help to down for the stairs because the elevator. Use the elevator. Yes, the, the elevator does it uh, that does doesn't, doesn't work. work because the the light is gone. Yes, that's it. <laughs> there's no there's no safe to, to electric <laughs> electric energy, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a, a lot of problem because the equipped to rescue or to help in emergency doesn't, it was uh, damaged, right? Right? For example, the wood in La, La Camille, I don't know, uh, broke down the wood for the, the right? Uh, and the people was so, so heavy to but go down, uh, right? It a very problems. Chaos, complete. Yes, uh, but we, what do you say? Logramos bajarlo. Achieve, achieve maybe. Achieve, we achieve the, down the people, and um, but uh, I, I, I think we, in, in my case, I don't receive any. Any training 
about this emergency? How to? How to help how, or how to do? How to do in that kind of? What have to do? Yes, yes. yes. But because... in the but in the company uh, there was a, a a team to to attend that. That, no, emergency. this is the this is the this is this is a problem because uh, every uh, company in different office because it's a building, it's a it's a building, and there are many companies in 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 the office, right? But each each office has a personal equip, not in general, right? Mm -hmm. And but this was a a third person. A third party that was that were working, repairing, I don't know, a, a electric equip. Okay. This is my experience, right? What we what we do different persons. Different. Yes. But you consider in that in that case, uh, you need a training like simulation to, yes. to apply a you can say that i think i and think it's okay yes it's okay and i i could say and so we 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 told them about how to use the equipment and we uh, we make a simulation we no we made a simulation so the the people were so motivated uh, because they didn't know how um what what was the what was the form to use the the, the equipment the the better form to use it so they were or the right form ah the right form yes they didn't know about it and and we 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 show show them the the right the right form and they they were uh, they were happy <laughs> they were happy. we have the same result as final of the day <laughs> as final of the day the, the employees were happy because the company um, what uh, was in invest uh, invest time with them. Yes, I'm agree. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready, teacher. <laughs> teacher, we are ready to do it. Okay, we're still missing like five minutes. The others uh, are the others are discussing a lot. Um, no, we we think that we are ready. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we think. <laughs> okay, practice what you're going to say. Did you include the training methodology, the results, the benefits for the employees? Mm, yes, uh, we we touch we discuss one point of each one of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, give me just a second. Okay. Okay. They're sorry, but it's, um, I don't participate. <laughs> You're not participating, okay. No, teacher. <laughs> okay. But, uh, so have you understood what we're doing? Uh, only the Diego and Mario are listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just look at your classmates. I will select you at last. So you can say something, okay? Talk about the the benefits. I mean, 
It's basically talking about your training program. What were you expecting? What was the objective of the training program? What methodology you used? If you just train a whole group of people, you know, how do you call that approach? Which is, is the whole point of this exercise. What kind of training did you deliver? Was it a coaching, mentoring, a group discussion? Was it a, a, a social learning or video training? Did you show a video and that's it? I mean, what kind of method you used? And what were the results? That was the, the whole point. That's that's what you need to explain. So let's listen to your classmates and see uh, if you can come up with something, okay? If you can explain something, okay? Okay. Uh, to explain for the co-workers what they had to, to do in that in that event. Uh, okay. Maybe they say follow this this stair, go down, or make some advices that could uh, save save you or save your life. And uh, I consider that sit in in the in the office in the headquarter. Okay. I don't know if other classmates want to share some experience about this this topic. Diana or Nelson. Okay. How how do you feel? Do you feel ready? Yes. Yes? <laughs> okay. Let's go back then. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, I think we're ready. Almost, everybody's coming back. Okay, yep, everybody's here. So, I'm concerned we were, hold on. Yeah, we're 12 still, great job. Okay, so let's go with the first group. Um, let me see, da, 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 da. let's go with Diana's group. Diana, Jorge, Manuel, Nelson, and Wendy to set the pace, okay? So all yours, please explain um, what kind of training did you deliver, the methodology you used, how how it was, you know? If you reach your goals with the training, what was the effect for the employees if they felt they understood everything? And more more importantly, um, what methodology did you use to deliver the training? Okay, so one, two, three, go. Uh, me, te me teacher, Jorge. Uh, we we were talking with the, with, with with our partners or classmates about the, the exercise that we did yesterday. In my case was about work heights. 
So as, uh, we use the, the method of simulation because uh, that method uh, can be applied in that situation to, to, to teach to, to us about the, the, the rules or advice that we need to do or we need to know to, to make that, that activity. Uh, last, like a result, uh, the group uh, get or get a, a protocol Got a, a, a protocol that uh, involve uh, advices and and rules necessary to to be able to to go to do that that activity and uh, and also to to be prepared in in case of an emer emergency. What one what we have to do if something wrong happens? Happens, happens. Uh huh. Okay. That's my participation, teacher. Good job. Thank you, teacher. Uh, in the uh, different uh, employees. Training method. I, I think this uh, this uh, are uh, like um, in in work. Like um, I don't know internal or process. Uh, I don't know how do uh, how how to say the. Uh, the correct word uh, that I say, but uh, I I I don't consider uh, this type the you know, this, this method uh, when when I have an experience right uh, in the in the building uh, where the company that I <clears throat> that I work is, uh, for example, uh, I I said my my classmate that I told, I, I told my classmates I told I told my classmate that that I never had a uh, training how uh, what to do in case of fire or earthquake in or or, or an, emer, an emergency in the in the view for example let me tell you let me uh, tell you mm -hmm. let me tell you uh, uh, the my, my 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 experience someday uh, or oh, one day uh, uh, person of a third party were, uh, were working in, in the top of building because we have a problems with the- We had a the, problem? We have problems. We have problems. A problem? We have a problem with the electrical energy, right? With the, the and then uh, one, one person was uh, was a an accident. Had an accident. Had an accident. Yes, and the uh, the doctor or paramedic. What do you say, paramedics? Paramedics. Mm -hmm. Paramedics. Uh, how how to uh, to to bring the eyes at uh, these this, this people, but the, the big problem was uh, how to how how to down these people 
how to take these people down how to take these people down at the first level to uh, the first level uh-huh yes to the first level but we uh, we in general the people that uh, help in this specific moment we don't have we didn't have we didn't have training and uh, also we so we we helped to to take to rescue down, to to rescue this this person but the equipment to 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 have the, the equipment we we have to use was uh, damaged. Oh my like, God. What do you say? How do you say Camilla? Good question. How do you say Camilla, guys? Google it, please. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> Stretcher. <laughs> Stretcher. Menos mal que trabaje de interpretar. Stretcher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But uh, we achieve, uh, logramos. What do you say, logramos? We, we made it. We made it, yes. Uh, we made it in, to to town to people. To take them down. To take them down. And then the result of this, <laughs> not training, but uh, situation. Uh, uh, we we learn how to how to do or how to uh, move to, to react how to react how, how to, to react yes resolve because, the situation because each office have the the own has has the own uh, equipment own equipment uh huh own own equipment but how how uh, what what to do in general in, in, in out of the office i don't know <laughs> nobody nobody knew nobody knew what to do nobody knew what to do that's all thing teacher wow okay wow that was insane now, what was your methodology? Did you say? I think I think it method is a simulation. You said simula right? simulation. Yes, yes. Okay. Good job. Good job. Oh and my God! There's well, an earthquake. Well, I, I, I está temblando. Wait a minute. I hate earthquakes. <laughs> Did you, this moment no. I, I I am moving my my desk. That's why I I, I didn't send it. <laughs> you know you know what I what saben que es lo peor? He he does nothing. And if you can no, no, you cannot see it. You cannot see it. Okay, anyways. Solo you teacher porque no so I do. No earthquake there. No, no earthquake. Okay. 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 Ah, my God. Yeah, it was really bad. But lo que no me gusta es que él no hace nada. Él, él está como, no, no, no pasa nada, no te preocupes, vea. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, he doesn't Relax. howl. He doesn't howl like many, many other dogs, you know, he doesn't go like, Arr. this, this, this is the same. Same thing, right? He was sleep. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it's Whew. a little dog. It's a little yeah, dog. That's a chihuahua, right? Uh, so, so. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't say so so. I hate that word. Okay. <laughs> okay. So good job. Good job. That was really good, actually. 
just remember the training methodology is very important. And in this case, making a simulation of uh, a real emergency at work, I think that's the best approach. And that's what everybody's doing, right? Everybody's doing simulations about the Ministry of Labor with the EPP, what Claudia was explaining yesterday. Okay, who's next? Manuel, which group, which group goes next? Uh, let me see. Uh, the most of, like, let listen. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Diego? Diego's team. Okay. Diego's team. Okay, Diego's team. Mario, Carolina, and Beatriz. What can you tell us about the methodology you used for your training example? Don't fall asleep, Christine. Sorry, Manuel. I'm working. Diego is working. Okay. What about the rest of the team? Let Let's leave the, your classmates at last. Okay. I'm gonna do that because many of them were working. Um, Carlos, Cristia, Juan Carlos, and Mario. If you may, please. Yes. Yes. Um. Okay about of a speech of our speech we have the training in we are train uh, our training is about on personal protection in an industrial company uh, so we explain how to properly wear personal equipment such as a cap with a helmet cute boots a reflective vest a special glasses and which places imply a risk for employees. Also, we made a tour around the company and then we simulate some accidents and how we can solve them. As Sim a result- Simulate. Simulate, mm -hmm. okay. And as a result, uh, the employees being correctly informed in order to make use of all the equipment personal protection. And Carlos will be continue. We'll continue. We'll continue without the B. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, our method of of uh, teaching this uh, was a simulation. And as my as as Chrissy said, we we talked about how to use the equipment that was uh, so important for the employees because. Uh, the company, um, when uh, anyone wants to to have an accident, so wait, uh, wait, the wait. company nobody wants ah, uh -huh. to have an nobody accident. wants to to have an accident. So um, the company want, wanted to wanted to reduce um, the the work accidents. So. Um, the, the the employees were so happy because uh, they they felt that the company um, was was worried about them and so the um, there was there was there there they were so ten, ten, thankful thankful you got it yes. For, for for the with the company, with the company, okay. That's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. That's all. <laughs> That's all. Everybody, okay. Okay. I invite the last group again. Mario, Diego, Carolina, and Beatriz. If you can say something, you have three minutes. No, teacher, I'm not. You're fine. Okay. Okay, guys. Now, you see, it is very important for you to be in the class. Um, 
as much time as possible. I know you're working and everything, but I mean, many of you, and it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, I picture myself taking a course like this. Man, I couldn't do it right now. Right now, at this time in my life, I couldn't take an online course the way you're doing. So I admire you a lot for that. But please don't forget discipline, discipline. And you may laugh, you know, about the what I'm doing with the car, but it requires a lot of discipline because it's easy. It's easy to say, oh, you know what? I'm not going to continue. Ah, I'm just going to sell this car and that's it. I'm going to buy another car and that's it. But if you set a goal in your life, don't be a mediocre. I was a mediocre in my life with the guitar. I know how to play the guitar, you know, I'm, but I'm not skillful. I'm not skillful. I wish I was skillful or I, I could have learned more because I started learning in 1996. I mean, at this point, I should be playing like Jimi Hendrix or I don't know. <laughs> so discipline, persever perseverance, perseverance is very important. So just to finish this point, um, let me see tomorrow. We have to design a basic needs assessment instrument. Okay. We will design a form tomorrow on how to address um, the requirements for a training, you know, like request a training from someone from the uh, company. That's something else. Just to finish today, there are different trainings on different job scenarios, right? Every job is different. So the requirements, um, the needs of training are different, but there are some main topics that you need to cover. For example, teamwork. Have you ever been on a teamwork training? Yeah, no, no. Then the INSA form has some instructors, you know, that go to the job and they do a workshop, a workshop with the employees of the company. And they work on teamwork activities. If it is customer service, for example, they can address customer service with people skills how to deal with angry customers, with angry, uh, upset customers, okay? That could be very valuable as well. And so on. I mean, there's a lot to say. There is a lot to say about this. So, you know, somebody helped me last time to remove the blur from my background and I don't remember how to do it anymore. <laughs> ah, I got it. I think I got it. Hold on. I I never use them. <laughs> you never use the filters? I have to do it. Okay, just remove the blur. <laughs> I have to choose a filter. Oh my god, a background. I don't remember how to do it. Huh. I'll find that out later. Anyways, we, it's over tonight. I was supposed to stay with Claudia, but Claudia, I think is, she's not here. Is she here? She didn't make it tonight. So who's next on the list as we started before? Um, Christian? Yeah. Yeah. Was that a, was that a yay or yeah? <laughs> No, don't, teacher, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. Don't, don't go like droopy with me. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm guys. happy, teacher. <laughs> okay, we'll stay 10 minutes. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't miss your classes. We're almost done. Okay, just 10 more classes almost. Okay, Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Christian Nathalie Eraso Rogel. Hello. Diana Elizabeth Chereguño Martinez. Diana. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> okay, good night. Diego Armando López Rivas. Present teacher, good night. Thank you, good night. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, good night. Excellent, good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present, good night. Good night. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Good night. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Good night, Mario. Okay, Mario José Valle Castaneda. Present teacher. Good night. Good, good night, Mario. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Present. Good night. Good night. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good night. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Blessings. Blessings. Okay, Mrs. Eraso, how are you? Miss Eraso or Mrs. Miss Eraso? Miss Eraso. Okay, how's it going? Um, fine. It's, the, it's going all right. Okay. <laughs> hmm. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm working hard. Working hard. Do you like yeah. your job? Yes, I really like my job. I'm I'm working with, as I told you before, I work with aircraft, and 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 for me it's very interesting because I studied at the university business administration and it's nothing related about my job. So I I learn every day and and that's all. <laughs> For me it's, it's it's interesting. Yes. Interesting, really? Interesting. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. How long have you been working at the air with aircrafts? I have 5 years. Five yes. years. Yes, five years. Wow. Yes. That's very and nice. Before, yes, and before, mm -hmm. uh, well, my first job is nothing related with aircraft. What? Uh, mm -hmm. I really, I really like the tourism things, and because I I have a specialist with uh, about the tourism in the university or a special degree i don't know how how can i say that i had well i took an i specialized i specialized, I specialized. on okay i get it i specialize on tourism mm -hmm. and and i get my i got my my first job and like uh, as tourism guy and and then I have I I got my second job as a journalist um on a a, a TV show Fine. and and then I got my 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 actual job. Oh really? Were you on TV? Yes. Really? National TV? Yes, national TV, uh, national and international TV. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, in nice. 21 channel. <laughs> channel 21? Channel 21, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. What mm -hmm. happened? Mm -hmm. I I didn't have uh, the knowledge about this career because... Oh. Yes, there uh, where there was a communications career related and I don't have I didn't have anything. That's that's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. they needed someone from communications, okay. Yeah. But okay, I I'm I'm thoughtful about your job. Do you work for 
um, one link or do you work for oh Ironman? Ironman. Ironman. Okay. Yeah. I've heard they they hire very often, right? Yes. Yeah, but nowadays I need technicians, right? Maintenance technicians <laughs> and things like that. Yes, I th I think yes. And and it's just that I have a friend who works in SEPA and he's a family member actually, but he was <laughs> telling me, hey, you should apply, you know, and they're, they're looking for people, bilingual people and et cetera. And the guys that they have right now on, on security control, mm -hmm. um, they don't speak English. So that, that's a problem. <laughs> that's yes. a real issue. But nowadays, um, they only hire people, bilingual people. Bilingual and with people. A, a bilingual people and with a, a long career. Wow. Yeah. I, I I have met good people in the call centers, you know. Uh, I met a guy who was studying to become a pilot. Two guys, actually. But, that I mean, they were always sleepless, you know. Or they were like, oh, you know what? I have a flight tomorrow, so I have changed my shift. Or I'm not coming to work tomorrow because I have a flight. Da, da, da. That that was my dream job. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be a flight attendant. Attendant. <laughs> a flight attendant. Because I, I, I am tall, right? And mm. I'm, not, I'm not ugly. I was not ugly. <laughs> I wasn't old. <laughs> when I was young, I actually went to Avianca and applied. It was funny to see how they have these long stairs to go to the top. And it's a it's a test. It's a test mm -hmm. to see if you get tired of yeah. going up the stairs. That's the first the first test. Um, then they took us to a room with some scotch, you know, on the wall. And for the ladies, they were like, "Okay, remove your shoes and stand against the wall." <laughs> and then yeah. all the girls were like, "Oh, but." Not without high heels. How can I put my feet on the ground? I'm so sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And then they took us to a room. Oh, it was like 30 people in the room. And then the trainer started talking. Okay, good morning, everybody. I hope you're understanding my words. I'm trying to speak fast because you have to understand every single word that I'm saying because you said you speak English, right? So, everybody who understood what I'm saying, please stand up. Everybody, oh, except except three guys, three men didn't stand up like that. Okay. So they said, eh, "Disculpe, ustedes tres, por favor, se pueden apartar del grupo, okay, señoritas?" Y llamaron a alguien más para que hablara con ellos. Mm -hmm. So they left the room, man, and I in like that. And then I hope you understand. This training is like. Thirty thousand dollars, they he said, or three thousand dollars. I don't, I don't remember. For each one of you, the airline is paying like three thousand dollars for this training, because, and the graduation is to swim with your clothes in the middle of the lake. I was like, wow. Yeah. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. But they asked me to do the polygrapho. You know, and, and I did I didn't make it the first time. I didn't make it the second time. The third time I made it. And it was and what it was because of the controller. It was a grumpy lady. She was like, What's your name? Do you do drugs? Are you planning to transport drugs? And I was like, No. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, she got me nervous. She was very upset for some reason. So I'm glad to hear that you have your dream job. That's really good. Yes. Uh, I think it's not my, my dream job, but I like it. I mean, after five years. <laughs> <laughs> because I I have the opportunity to grow up in the company. So I, I, I am in another position. It's a better position 
So that's motivating me. That's motivating you, motivating me. Um, okay. And do you travel to the airport every day? Um, some days, yes. And some days we have an office in the Mall Las Cascadas. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. For me, it's easy in Las Cascadas because it's near to my house. But but uh, some days I need to to go to the airport. You don't like it, I can tell. No, I, I think it's so far. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night.